Hey y'all, I wanted to come on and show you one of my favorite looks to do. I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Palette and uh, Rebel by MAC. So in the video, I do show you a different lip option, a new color. So if you're looking for something for daytime, that might be a better option for you. However, I was thinking more of a nighttime look. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, please keep watching. So for this tutorial, I'm starting out with my eyes. I'm using Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. The color is Eden. I'm just going to use that as a base. And you don't need very much of this, just a dab. I'm going to blend that out using one of my precision brushes from Sigma. Just blending that all over the eye, including um, my bottom lash line, because I'll be putting a little bit of shadow down there as well. Next, for base, I'm going to be using uh, the Stay Lauder Double Wear Shadow Cream. The color is Golden Sands. And I'm focusing that mainly on my lid, but I also bring a little bit up into the brow bone area as well. For my lid color, I'm taking Sin from the Urban Decay Naked Palette. And I'm just going to tap that on my lid. This is just a pretty um, champagne-y color, kind of like a peak champagne color. Now I'm taking Buck out of the Naked Palette as well, and I'm going to use this, just apply this to my crease. I'm also going to put a little bit in my outward V um, just to help define the eye. Next I'm taking Dark Horse on the same brush, a fluffy brush, and I'm applying that to, to further define my outer V. And I really just wanted this look to look like it all blended into one another, so keep blending until you get what you desire. Next, I'm taking Naked, and I'm going to be using this as a transition color. So basically, I'm just going to blend out the buck and dark horse that I applied earlier. This pretty much looks like my skin tone. For the highlight, I'm taking Virgin, also from the Naked palette. I'm just going to apply that to my brow bone and blend it out. For eyeliner, I'm using Rimmel Exaggerate Eyeliner, um, color is black, and I don't want a very defined line, I really just want to help darken up my lash line. I'm also going to use that same eyeliner and apply it to my waterline. Now this color does not show up very well on the waterline, uh, but I left my other eyeliner <laughs> in the other room so um, you can use a darker color if you like. Now for the face. Today I'm using MAC Face and Body Foundation and I'm in the color N7. I'm just going to apply that all over my face and then blend it out. Keep blending. And this has very sheer coverage, so I'm going to take a little bit more and um, just build it up a little bit. And this, this foundation doesn't get cakey on me, so feel free to blend it. I mean, feel free to build it. So for my brows, I'm taking this uh, brow pencil by Milani and I'm first using the one side to brush the brows in place and then I'm just going to lightly um, fill in the sparse areas on my brows. Most of the color I want to focus towards the ends of the brows, the brows because that just tends to look a little bit more natural.
sorry about the lighting here. I'm using natural light and the sun was going in and out, so it'll go back soon. <laughs> then I'm just using that brush to um, blend in my eyebrows. So for concealer, I'm using uh, Revlon's Photo Ready Concealer. Just going to dab that underneath my eyes. I also have a couple blemishes going on on my chin, so put a little there as well. I'm just going to use my same foundation brush to blend that out. This concealer blends really easily, so I really like it. To set my concealer, I'm using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. Color is dark. And I'm using that underneath my eyes as well. It's pretty um, translucent, so I'm going to use that to also set the rest of my foundation. So now that my concealer is done, I'm going to go ahead and work on my lower lash line. So I'm taking Sin, and I'm going to just dab that in my inner corner to kind of brighten up my eyes. Now I'm taking Naked and I'm just going to go over the sin. I'm sorry, that was Virgin, not Naked. <laughs> now I'm going into Dark Horse and I'm going to use that um, towards the ends of my lower lash line just to further define the eye. And I realized I forgot to put mascara on, but please put on mascara. <laughs> For blush, I'm using Format by MAC. And it's really just a bronzy um, blush that looks, in person, it looks a little bit more um, glowy than it does on the video. For a highlight, I'm taking High, uh, Sunbeam by Benefit. And I'm just going to tap that along my cheekbones. And then I'm going to use an angle kabuki for, to blend it out. It just gives a, um, a sheen to the skin. Just make sure you blend it out so it doesn't like you have just a gold mark on your face. So for the lips, the first option I'm using MAC, uh, Kinda Sexy. And this is a nude, or almost like a coral nude. This will be better for a daytime wear. Or night, it really doesn't matter, it's just your preference. So this is the first look. And for the second lip, first I'm going to be using a lip liner. This is the color Raisin by Palladio. I'm just going to use that to line the outside of my lips. And then try to blend, blend it out a little bit so it doesn't look like such a harsh line. For lipstick, I'm taking Rebel by MAC. I'm just going to fill in my lips using that lipstick. And whenever you're wearing a bold lipstick, Make sure you clean around the edges and blot. That was my form of blotting. 
So this is the second look. And I hope you all enjoy. Thanks for watching. Bye.